What's going on everybody? It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun. It does look like I'm doing a blind battle, but I'm actually not doing a blind battle. Um, I thought about doing a blind battle, but I was like, you know what? I want to go ahead and just give you my five favorite toasted bourbons that I'm enjoying right now. So I would say I love uh, toasted bourbons throughout the year. I definitely love toasted bourbons, especially um, during the fall season. It's nice and cool out. The leaves are falling. I mean, it's like this is quintessential, you know, time for toasted bourbon. So um, I was actually going to use this kit right here, but uh, I guess it's technically not needed, but I'll still use the glasses. So actually this uh, blind uh, testing kit, I actually got from one of my patrons. So huge shout out to my good friend, Leanne. Leanne, thank you so much uh, for gifting me this set. So it's a really cool set. Uh, you can see here on the front, you got the letters A through D. And then on the back, you can actually even use these markers to write ahead of time what the different whiskeys are. But again, I'm not going to use the uh, from a blind uh, format, but I will be definitely using these glasses. So Leanne, again, shout out to you. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate this little blind uh, blind set. All right, so let me give you my five favorite current toasted bourbons. Uh, I will say all these actually on the label are written as toasted, not diving into that. I know they play in the exact same ballpark. I get that, but I'm not uh, dialing into like true double oaked bourbon. So no Woodford double oaked, no uh, Peerless double oaked, truly at least whiskey or bourbons that actually have the name toasted on the front. Cool. All right. We'll do a separate one for just pure double oak down the road, completely separate. All right. So my current favorite five, and I'm going to give you the reason why. And I'm going to sip these five also. Well, at least these four, because I have four glasses here. Um, but I have to give credit also where credit is due. I always ask my patrons, hey, give me ideas, things that you want to see on the channel. My patrons are very straightforward. They always give me fantastic ideas. So my good friend, Rich Lechner, Rich uh, actually gave me this idea. So Rich, thank you very much for this. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into the judges' five favorite toasted bourbons. All right. I'll give you the price points as well. So coming in number one, I love everything that Heaven Hill is doing. I think this is a really great product by itself. This is the Elijah Craig Toasted. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit. Why not? Go ahead and pour this one real quick here. So this one comes in about $65. You know, obviously of course, where you live is different than where I live. So the price point is always gonna be different. Every liquor store, even state control stores, charge different amounts. So, you know, what might be the price in Pennsylvania is gonna be different than Delaware versus Texas and so forth. But around me, it's a $65 bottle. This one coming in right at 94 proof. This is fantastic, especially, you know, early in the uh, afternoon when it's, when it's still a little bit warm out, this is a fantastic product. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of this one real quick. As you say, cheers, my friends. Cool. See, I love the notes of the back end notes, like some vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of chocolate in there as well. Oh, gosh, I do need some s'mores in my life right now. <laughs> mm, a little fire pit action going here. Cheers again, my friends. Mm. Very nice. Number one. All right. And these are not in order, by the way, either. These are just my, my five favorite that I'm sipping right now that are toasted. Elijah Craig. All right. Coming in second place, or the second one, I should say. You might be thinking, Judge, why, why, why won't you include your Michter's Sour Mash? I love the Michter's Sour Mash. Just reviewed that not too long ago. But I'm going to go with one that came out, I think it was like 10, 11 months ago. I'm going personally with the uh, Michter's Limited Release. Toasted barrel finish, this version here, the standard mixers. Get my glass. This one I think is absolutely fantastic. And I'm choosing this one over the sour mash because this one has a little bit more of a kick to it. At the standard 91.4 proof, absolutely amazing. This is probably one of my favorite products that I just enjoy truly year round, but especially during the fall season. I love, again, all those notes of just, you know, caramel, maple syrup. Um, just like it truly reminds me of a campfire experience, similar to Elijah Craig, but in a different way. This one's a little bit more, in my opinion, a little bit more cinnamon forward than Elijah Craig. Oh, that's a nice pour too. I'm gonna have to finish that later. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more, um, a little bit more cinnamon, even a smidge more vanilla as well. Oh, I love this mix. This release. Hmm. Oh, so good. It's so good. It's just hits home, hits home. There's a little bit left in there. 
this will be finished later. <laughs> Trust me. All right, going to number three. And I should say a price point for this one, by the way. Um, when this first came out, I think it was like about $100 because it is a limited release if you find it it might be a little bit more expensive because again it is a limited release so one of those things it's a hundred dollar bottle msrp but again you probably will find it maybe even for like 125 maybe even a little bit more just kind of depends on where you live um but fantastic quality for sure all right the third spot getting back down to something that i think is readily available um a fantastic product it's a four grain product source whiskey but it's fantastic love everything that these guys are doing only like a 70 dollar bottle which by itself is amazing sometimes even like high 60s oh penelope bourbon this is the toasted series oh this version i have right here is 114 proof um yep 114 proof let me go ahead and just pour this real quick oh man i am a big fan of mike and danny the guys over at uh at penelope I love their whiskey. I love the whole four grain approach that they're, that they're doing. I love this toasted uh, uh, barrel finish toasted series as well. Again, this one has a little bit more kick. For me, this is one that I'm enjoying later in the evening as it starts to get a little bit colder out. I want something to kind of, you know, warm me up a little bit. Just, you know, get me nice and cozy inside. And this right here does it for me every single time. And I mean that. Woo! All right. Mm, let me get a little bit. Hey, real quick before I uh, sip this, real quick, couple of favorites. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, let me know what are some of your favorite Toasted Series whiskeys. And then last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel. Try and hit the 10,000 mark. I am like uber, uber close. All right, my friends. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Woo. That right there. Whew. Warms you right up. <laughs> All right. It's a shame I can't sip my uh, the uh, the fifth one. That's a shame. Oh, that's all right. All good. Next time. Coming in the fourth spot. Oh, man. You want to talk about another fantastic sourced MGP product. And I swear these guys only buy the best of the best uh, MGP barrels. I swear they do. Oh, $75, $80. Their toasted uh, bourbon is straight up amazing, amazing. But the good news is that you can easily find it. Like Penelope, you can easily find this uh, pretty much, honestly, all over online, across, you know, different markets. I am a big fan, and I mean big fan, of the Nulu toasted bourbon. Woo! I am definitely getting a nice size pour of this one. I'm finishing all these later, by the way, of course. Probably over a nice cigar as well. A lot of times people ask, Judge, what cigar are you smoking tonight? I think I'm going to pull out one of my favorite Alec Bradley cigars. So I'm probably going to go with the Alec Bradley more than likely tonight. And I have various different ones. So I'll pick one of the various different Alec Bradleys that I love and go uh, choose the pair of these with uh, my Alec Bradley cigar. All right. So this one here, by the way, comes in at 124.2 proof, age five years, Nulu, mm-mm-mm definitely where it's at all right here we go let's let's get into this one see with the penelope because of the four grain completely different right in the nose this one is just so deep so rich the nose just screams like chocolate it scream notes of like caramel oh my gosh even maple syrup well you don't really get that in, in the penelope the tons of like the maple syrup oh Goodness gracious. Cheers, my friends. Woo! Damn. That is really good. <laughs> Woo, man. Wow. See, it's hard to do a blind when you have 94 proof, 91.4 proof, and then this one here, 124.2 all fantastic in their own right but they, they don't really play in the exact same category starting off the night ending the night now you might want something for the middle of the road something that is just fantastic quality now this one i will say unlike these two where they're both like in 65 75 dollar range um or even these that were like 65 or this one's like 100 
this last one, this fifth one, this is from a proof standpoint right in the middle of these four, but it's a little bit more expensive. It's a couple hundred bucks. And that's the reason why it's the last one. It almost in many ways, probably honestly, truly could even be my asterisk, if you will. Um, slightly hard to find because it is, it's a, I guess it came out last year, but this is one where absolutely amazing quality. Love it day in, day out. Come on. Wild Turkey Master's Keep Toasted number one. I don't have a glass right next to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kiss this bottle because it's that damn good. Absolutely amazing. Truly, I mean, top of the line product from Wild Turkey. Again, coming in right at 101 proof. Fantastic quality. This whiskey is straight up legit and it is the truth. Hey, my friends, until the next time, as we say in the, in the, in the courtroom, peace, cheers, and most importantly, salute. Take care, my friends.